Hi guys, we shall see the next question. Here the question states, state the coordinates in which the following points are situated. And uh, the first one is, the point name is capital P. A point capital P, its top view is 40 mm above XY line. And the front view is 20 mm below the top view. Okay, so according to the question, he says top view of the point P. Okay, so, so generally, we know that if P is a point, if P capital P is a point, it's uh, top view and it's front view. The top view is going to be small p and its front view is going to be small p dash. So according to the question, as you said, the point P, its top view is 40 mm above xy reference line. So above xy reference line, the top view is at a distance of 40 mm. So let us draw an xy reference line. If I consider this as an xy reference line. So according to the question, the point is 40 mm above xy reference line. Mm, so let me consider up to here. So this is the point P. So top P is nothing but small p. So the distance is 40 mm. 40 mm above xy reference line. And he said that the front view is 20 mm below the top view. So the the front view is nothing but uh, p dash. p dash is 20 mm below the top view. So come from the top, that is to over here. So this distance is 20 mm. So the remaining distance is also going to be 20 mm. So this is p dash, and this is small p. And this distance is going to be 20 mm. Fine, guys. Now we need to state to win which quadrant the point is point belongs to. So let us see over here. So as per the designations we have uh, P dash and P are the uh, views front view and top view. None of the views are present on the X Y reference line. So the point lies in the air. So if the point lies in the air, let us draw the coordinates. So as the point lies in the uh, lies in the quadrants in the air, so it can be over here or here, here or here. So any of these four quadrants in the air. So let us consider. If I keep the point P over here, okay. So if let us consider if point capital P is over here. If I see the front view in this manner, okay. So P dash is going to be over here. So above X Y line we are getting P dash. So P dash is above X Y line. Yes, this quadrant might be. So if I see the top view, I'm going to get small p over here. As uh, as this is an horizontal plane, after the projections is done, this is going to go downwards. So p is going to come downwards, that is below x y line. So p is is it p below x y line? No. So this is not the quadrant. So let us check the next one. Okay. So if this is this is okay. If this is capital P, and if I see the front view, and if I see the top view, front view is going to state over here, that is p dash. So x y above x y reference line. So above x y reference line, I have the p dash. And if I see top u, and I'm going to get p over here. So on rotating this particular plane, this part moves upwards. So p is going above x y reference line. So we have the p above x y reference line. Yes. So this is the quadrant we are looking for. So point p belongs to. second quadrant and according to the second quadrant so this is second quadrant let us leave it so fine even we shall write this one so if this is p dash and if this is p p dash is at a distance of 20 mm and p is at a distance of 40 mm according to the second quadrant we are going to have the question as above hp behind vp so above HP is equal to dash mm and behind VP is equal to dash mm. So how many mm are we need to find. Okay, so this distance is coming from HP. So it is going upwards. So above HP. Okay, so above HP how much? 20 mm. And this distance is coming 
moving backward that is from VP this distance is coming from VP so it is going to be behind so behind VP it is going to be 40 mm so this is how we are going to find the quadrant and this is how we are going to designate the question so let us go for the question number two a point capital Q its projections its projections in the sense the front view and as well as the top view okay coincide with each other so a single point is going to be Q and Q dash with each other 40 mm below xy line so he's saying about below xy so this is xy reference line so below xy reference line we have the front view as well as the top view that is the projections are going to coincide q comma q dash at a distance of 40 mm below the xy reference line so this is the question we had so let us see where the point q belongs to so according to the question point Q belongs to so let us check so all, both of the projections are away from XY reference line so the projections none of the projections are on the XY reference line so the point is going to lie in the air in the space so the space in the sense any of these three particular things this clearly designates the point belongs to the fourth quadrant so let us check over here I am keeping the point here this is capital Q if I see the front view in this way and top view in this manner so front view I am going to get over here it is going to be Q dash see so the point Q dash that is the front view is below XY reference line so here we have Q dash below XY reference line ok and if I see the top view and I am going to get over here this is small Q and on rotating the XY ok on the on rotating the horizontal plane we are going to get Q downwards so it is going below xy reference line we have the q below xy reference line so both are at a distance of 40 mm and 40 mm so according to the fourth quadrant the question is going to be below hp below hp is equal to dash mm and in front of vp in front of vp is equal to dash mm so as both are 40 mm 40 mm it is going to be above hp below hp 40 mm and in front of vp 40 mm right 